Woohoo! It's like having your own personal roller coaster. Hello and welcome to Electric Performance. Today we are getting into Tesla tuning. Yes, not just modifications that make the car look more silly and that don't really do anything. We are actually unlocking more power out of Tesla vehicles. And with that, we have our friend Joe Tripp over in North Carolina that we used uh, the Nginx modules on his vehicle. He's gonna tell us all about it for this episode. So normally you'll see us, but in this episode, it's Joe Tripp in North Carolina with the Model 3 dual motor and he is unlocking the power to the power of a Model 3 performance and maybe even slightly beyond. We'll have to see. Okay, so I figured I'd go through some of the things that's in this module. And this includes the bonus module, the Boost 50, and the Ghost module. So for short range plus cars, they don't have re rear heated seats, but you can actually enable them with either of these, any of these three modules installed. Uh, there is also a proximity driver's door open that you can enable. So as you walk up to the car, the door will pop. And then you just have to grab the edge of it to open it up. Sweet. Which is great if you have your hands full or if you don't want to leave fingerprints on your car or whatever the case may be. Uh, there, the, one of the coolest things that I'm looking forward to is a, um, a feature where you can cover the ultrasonic sensor on the driver's side. Uh, at the front corner and it will pop the frunk for you or the rear corner on the driver's side and it'll pop the trunk. You can adjust the range on it so you can put it really close or really far away if you have a garage where you're walking by your car a lot. Uh, there's also a battery heating mode, mode if you're in cold and you want to warm the battery up so you have full regen in the winter time you can do that you can heat it up from the uh, from your phone uh, and there's also a drift mode, which maintains the ABS and power steering, but allows you uh, to drift the car uh, like a track mode, uh, kind of a, uh, an alternate to track mode. They supply you with instructions, which are pretty straightforward. Basically, you have to remove this panel on underneath the dash, which I've done several times installing dash cams and other things, so that's relatively easy. The standard Tesla pin, snap out, snap in kind yeah. of a thing. You pull the okay. pin out, grab a hold of the body, pull the rest of it out, put them in your cup holder so you don't lose them. There's okay. four of them. Okay. And then it just falls down for you. And then you pull it forward a little and down. Remove the wire from the light. There's a, a safety press here and it'll slide right out. Okay. You can undo the speaker or you can just rotate it around out of the way out of the way the best way to get at this plug it's the second plug on the mcu is to come in kind of blind from the ground with your left hand even if you're not left-handed and there's this you push the center part in on the plug and then it unplugs here's a better view of what the plugs look like the one you're unplugging looks like this it's in the mcu okay you're pushing this part in the recess in and pulling it out then you're taking that plug from the wiring harness plugging it into this and then this replaces back into the mcu so there's a lot of room up here with it where you can put these modules just up in here on the shelf and this panel will hold them in, in place they don't rattle uh, driven quite a number of miles with one in there and they don't make a lot of noise either but so we're gonna plug the light back in and you'll hear it click and obviously it comes on and then when you're putting this panel up one thing I missed uh, the first time I did this was there's a piece up here that catches this on both sides the there's insulation one, there one over here sorry my hands in the way you have to slide this up and then slide them on those okay. to keep this up and then you put the pins in. Okay, so what we've done is we've installed the module, we booted back up the car, we've brought up Team Viewer, and we've connected a dongle that comes with the module to the pin, 9-pin connector, yeah, I see it. Uh -huh. and then the other end into the USB port. 
Okay. And I've sent Nginx my information for the remote session, and I'm now waiting for them to connect and do their thing. Do their thing. So we just finished doing their part, and now he's asking me to reboot the car. So safety and security. Okay. Power off. Power off. Okay, so not service, but safety and security. And we wait 10 seconds, and then press the brake to wake the car back up, and then we go for a drive. Sounds good. Let's see we go. Yeah. Get it straight. Three, yeah. two, one, go. Oh yes, honest to God. I am back in my seat. The Ghost module has 150 horsepower. 150 horsepower. Just plug it in and you have 150 more horsepower. It's like having your own personal roller coaster. The performance is incredible. Uh, Tesla promised a five second car. When I bought this all wheel drive car, it was 4.7 seconds. They gave us one free update and brought it down to about four and a half seconds. And I actually tried the Nginx Boost uh, 50 module before I tried the Ghost module. And the Boost 50 actually shaved a half a second off, got it down to about 3.8, 3.9, zero to 60. But this Ghost module going all the way down to 3.2, 3.1 in one instance that I made, made is just some incredible performance. And it's not just that it's as fast as the Performance 3, it's also the throttle curve, and I don't know how to explain it. They've tweaked the throttle curve, and the car is a lot more punchy now, but it's not annoyingly so. Like, it's different. Um, before, when the throttle, when you get on the throttle, it would go uh, very linearly uh, for, for a stock Model 3 all-wheel drive. And it would just steady pull, steady pull, and then start tailing off at the end and and now with this ghost module it pulls hard in the beginning and it just continues to pull hard it, it doesn't let up bonus module is really cool it gives you all the the features without the performance impacts the boost 50 gives you 50 horsepower uh, boost and and that in and of itself where I think most people will be where they want to be but if you're really performance minded like me or you want to track your car then the uh, ghost module is definitely definitely the key so how does the ghost module actually work how does nginx get the all-wheel drive three up to the level of the performance three that's a good question so tesla actually installed the performance rear motor in many of the all-wheel drive Model 3s. The only thing that's really holding them back is a software limitation. So what Nginx did, does is they connect to the rear motor during the install and reprogram it, reflash it to believe that it's a performance rear motor. So now you have the module that's managing all of the features and the throttle curve and the rear motor that is a performance rear motor that's basically running at full potential now. So I know you're thinking to yourself, should I just go ahead and get the all-wheel drive and save the money on a performance and get this Ghost 50 module and save some money? And that really depends on what you're looking for. Like for me, this is exactly what I want. I'm not a person that's gonna be spending a lot of time on a track, but I like to have that, you know, just performance increase. If you, if I, if I wanted to have the, uh, the car on a track, I would probably go with the Performance 3. You'll get bigger rotors, bigger calipers, bigger brakes, Tesla's track mode, which they're going to continue to improve, and the ability to turn that track mode on and off just with a flip of a switch. It's a little more difficult to turn this one on because you have to connect to the car's Wi-Fi. Uh, the module actually has a Wi-Fi 
that you can connect to and then control the settings and turn the track mode on and off. And then once you're done with track mode, you have to reboot the car, which is not a big deal if you're at the track, but it's uh, it's a little harder to turn it on and off. Your final thoughts on the Ghost module. I think it's amazing what Nginx has done here. You know, people love to tinker with their cars. They want to get a little bit more performance. They want to add sway bars. They want to add springs, uh, better calipers, better brake pads, uh, changing brake fluid, trying to improve their cars. And you can spend a lot of money doing that. And I feel that this is probably bang for buck one of the best ways you can improve an all-wheel drive Model 3. Thanks for watching Electric Performance. Please subscribe, share, and hit the like button.